Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics and in this video I'd like to discuss the crazy across the pond again as American political commentator Rachel Maddow describes a worrying picture of what may be to come this autumn as she makes the claim that Donald Trump may actually be trying to lose the election. Now I'm going to begin by saying I, this doesn't make sense in quite the way she's pitching it. There are a couple of other details to note as well. But it is all certainly set up for the orange one to wreak havoc with America this autumn whether or not he wins the presidential contest. Um, not winning the presidential contest chaos, and that's the optimistic outlook. The pessimistic outlook is that he does win. But anyway, what has Maddow suggested? Well, I've put a link to her piece in the description below. Essentially, she's drawn out two comments which the Orange One continually makes to his supporters. The first of which was widely reported even in the UK. It's his assertion that supporters just needed to go out and vote this one time and they won't need to do it again because he's going to fix everything. But how do you fix things so that people don't need to vote again in another four years? Because really, the way you usually do it is you need to get out and vote for us. We're going to do these great things. But then at the next election, we want to get out and vote for us again so we can carry on doing the great things. How does it make sense? To just get out and vote this one time and then I'll fix it so you don't need to bother. Well, it's quite simple, isn't it? You, you intend to abolish democracy or at least abolish any meaningful system of democracy. I mean, maybe Trump intends to do as Putin does and simply murder anyone who could challenge him, but still hold elections to provide the pretense of democracy. Maybe he would just change the electoral systems in order to stack the odds way further in the Republicans' favour to the point where they basically just walk it every time more so than already exists, by the way, um, maybe something else. But whatever the specifics, he's effectively promising his supporters that he just needs one more democratic win and then democracy is no longer a barrier to power for him or his, his MAGA cult. But there's another statement which Maddow <laughs> showed being reported in lots of different Trump speeches. And I hadn't come across with this, but she showed various clips. And oddly, it's sort of the opposite message. In these clips, he's telling his supporters, actually, I don't need your vote at all. You don't need to vote, not even this time. I've got enough votes. And he, he, he used the phrase, my instruction. Instruction? <laughs> not information or something. Although I am going to say, given his clear cognitive decline, I'm not going to find too much interest in specific word he could just be using the wrong words but as Maddow says this is this is weird though just the idea of saying ah oh, judge I don't need your vote why is he there then why is he talking to them all politicians urge their supporters to get out and vote even if you think the contest is in the bag you want everyone to go out and vote you don't want to take chances Apart from anything else, it's not even binary. It's not just about the presidential contest. The president wants allies in Congress and many of the same people voting for the president will be voting for their national legislatures at the same time. So you would want people to get out and vote even if you thought the presidency was in the bag, which in the last couple of weeks clearly is not the case, in order to get more power in Congress. But where I think Maddow may, may be making a bit of a leap here, and I acknowledge US politics is hardly a specialism of mine, it's in thinking this is evidence that Trump wants to lose the election. She said that. He wants to lose the election. She cites the fact that a number of officials have been appointed for the purposes of election, election certification in certain states who are known to be people who publicly push the lie about the 2020 presidential election having been stolen. The fear is that these roughly 70 officials will simply refuse to certify the election results, meaning that the statewide results can't be certified and the presidential election process can't be completed. Now, Maddow doesn't say exactly what she thinks the end game of this would be. She just says we're headed for weird times. But it is worth bearing a few things in mind. The first is so that sort of thing would have made more sense as a strategy in 2020 when Trump was the president. Right now, Biden is president and Trump's election rival, Harris, is vice president. In order for Trump to regain the presidency, he needs a, a process which positively appoints him president. So simply collapsing the electoral process into paralysis doesn't do that. Second point is, although we've known for some time that Republicans in some key states have been laying the groundwork to play silly buggers at the next election, including the appointment of stubbornly unprofessional officials, I mean, I've known about this for some time, 
it doesn't make sense for it to be plan A. The idea that Trump is actively trying to lose the election, that doesn't make sense. It would be way easier for him and his party if he wins the election based on the fair and legal apportioning of votes. Although we can well believe that they intend to capture the presidency by fair means or foul, fair has to be plan A and foul has to be plan B. Which means we can probably put Trump's comments about people not needing to vote even this time down to the fact he's an idiot in terminal mental decline. The third thing to note is that election officials refusing to certify results does not actually lead to paralysis of the process. All states have contingencies in place for when this happens, apart from anything else. If 70 officials do cause trouble by refusing to certify the results, it would not be the first time. It will probably be the first time it's happened on such a scale, but it's not the first time officials have refused to certify results. Apparently, it happens quite regularly. But state laws have procedures in place for forcing the certification of results. You can't simply hold up the presidency because someone won't do their job. And it can involve various things. It can involve simply removing the dissenting official and replacing them with someone else. It can involve the court. But there's a process in every state for dealing with it. So this being the case, is there really any point in Republicans appointing officials to disrupt the process if all it does is delay the inevitable? Well, yes. Consider what happened at the last election. Trump knew that the early declarations would make it look like he was in the lead, but he knew that the later ones would swing it in Biden's favour. So he was already setting a narrative of the election being stolen because of those later votes. You know, election results come in at different times based on sort of how quickly you can get votes from one place to somewhere else where they need to be counted, certified, things like that, different processes. And that's normal but not a lot of people follow that process. He and his allies were characterising these later votes as delayed votes, as if they were being held back somewhere secret and tampered with. And when people don't pay close attention to the process of counting certifying votes normally, because anyone who did would just go, no, this is actually quite normal. But for most people, it's very boring. The process of counting and certifying votes is boring, right? So for most people, they'd never even thought about this process until someone started mentioning it. And then all of a sudden they're getting this narrative that, oh yeah, these ones coming later. Oh no, it's showing Biden in the lead after these votes have come in later. Oh, something funny going on here. When of course there was nothing unusual going on. Well, the same may well be part of the plan here. Create confusion, disrupt the process, create confusion. Dozens of officials refusing to certify the results will delay the certification process for a while, days, maybe weeks. When the state laws kick into action to replace those officials, Trump's team can establish a narrative of, hang on a minute, these officials were pointing out some inconsistencies here, and now the deep state is replacing them. They're silencing them. You know, what's going on? There's something dodgy going on here. And if the orange one ultimately loses the presidential contest, he can then use this narrative to carry on feeding this idea of stolen election again, perhaps in an effort to trigger a real civil war. If he wins, he can still use the confusion to justify changes to the electoral process in order to deliver the outcome he's also been putting to his supporters, this idea that just vote one more time and then you won't have to do it in four years time and because he's going to fix everything. A chaotic election process. Pretty good for arguing that we should make the process less chaotic. Leave it to me, I'll sort it all out. Don't you worry your prickly little heads. Chaotic situation, I'm gonna stop the chaos. And what, what could stop the chaos of, a, of an election process? Well, you just abolish the election and put a gold hat on Trump's head, leaving him in power for the rest of his life. Although actually by the looks of him, that might not be more than a normal presidential term anyway. But there we are. Those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for further content and click the like button. You can also sign up for memberships if you'd like to support the channel further. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.